Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and today I'm bringing you another how-to video. After a long wait, uh, I got a couple of requests, probably, I'd say, almost two, two and a half weeks ago, on how to install the Call of Warhammer Beginning of the End Times mod for Medieval 2 Total War. And I've had nothing but problems on installing this one, but I finally got it today, and I uh, just played a couple of matches, and it works great. So... Hopefully I'm going to save you guys weeks of headache uh, on trying to install this one. But uh, yes, so uh, again, because it is a Medieval 2 mod, first thing we need to do is go to moddb.com. And then if you go up to the top into search and type in Call of Warhammer, uh, it's going to pop up there, the first one. So beginning of the end times. So uh, he's got a lot of update instructions here. There's some... Uh, install instructions, but uh, it really didn't help me too much. Um, but what we really care about is right here. So we're going to be installing 1.5, which is the uh, new version that's come out. As of April 24th, uh, 2017. So it's very, very new so far. Um, so we should have the file somewhere. There we go. So uh, here is the file, so we just got to make sure, beginning of the end times, yes, we got the full version, 5.75 gigabytes, and uh, this is the 1.5 beta, so this is the one I'm going to be showing you guys how to install. So if you hit the download now icon, uh, it's going to pop up in the bottom of the screen with a little uh, uh, B-O-T-E-T -T, uh, WinRare folder. So let that download. It's very, very large, so it may take uh, some people a couple of hours to download it. Depends on how fast your internet connection is. And uh, once that's finished, uh, you can see that it ends up being right here. So this is the little WinRare document. So if you open it up, uh, no thanks, you should see that there's a little folder here. And what we're going to do is just hit Extract To. And we're going to go to Local C. Program Files 86, scroll down to Steam, and Steam Apps, Common, Medieval 2, and just select Mods. You don't need to double click it, just select Mods because it's going to dump the folder right into there. And when you hit OK, it's going to start the abstraction. Uh, this will not pop up for you, it's just because I already have it there, so they want to replace all the files, but I don't need to do that. So let it install again. The extraction takes uh, between 2 to 10 minutes, I would say. And then once that's finished, if you navigate through Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Medieval 2, Mods. So there's the folder there, you can see. And so let's open it up. And you guys should have this exactly the way that I do. Make sure you have this configuration uh, and the uh, Warhammer uh, launch as well. So that's that's pretty much all of it. Now, one of the big problems I had right here is I thought I was done. And a lot of other people, I'm sure you guys think you're done too. And you just go ahead and you click the Warhammer. And it actually loads up like it's going to work. And then it crashes with a little sign saying, uh, we, failed to, we failed to stop the end times or something like that. Like some cute little crash icon. But uh, it's because we're missing the patch. We need to download the patch. So I've got it right here. I'm going to give you guys a link in the description. It's just, uh, it's, um, let's see if I could show you guys here. Uh, if I can uh, pull over another window for you. Uh, if you can see this at the top here, it's www.ntcore.com backslash four gigabyte underscore patch dot php and if you click on that it's going to load up the patch so here is the patch here so i'm going to leave this uh this web page in the description for you guys but right at the bottom this little download four gigabit patch just click on that and it will uh pop up with this so this is very very important this is a lot of data that we're missing four gigabytes worth apparently um, so when you double click on that, you can see that there's a little patch exe in it. Okay. Just make sure it's there. So let's close out of that for now. Okay. And what we need to do back out of our, um, beginning of the end times folder, back out of the mods. 
And then down here, you can see that you've got this little Medieval 2 thing. Uh, this Kingdoms thing is not here. So I'm just going to delete that so you guys uh, aren't confused, okay? But you can see that it's right. Uh, you've got the Medieval 2 here. So what I need you to do is copy and then paste it back. Or maybe I... Uh, did I copy that? And uh, maybe I'll have to do it in a different folder. Yeah, just paste it here. And then uh, what we're going to do is just rename this exactly as shown, just kingdoms, okay? Another problem a lot of people were saying, kingdoms.exe cannot be found. It's because people are led to believe that you're supposed to name it kingdoms.exe. But that is incorrect. It's just telling you that it's an, ex it, an, it's an executive file, so it, it, it executes a process, but this is the wrong name. So it just needs to be kingdoms, all lowercase, no spaces or anything like that. And then what you got to do is dump it back into Medieval 2 Total War. And then you'll have it just like this. You got Medieval 2 and Kingdoms. Okay, so that's very, very important. Make sure that that process is finished. And then what we're going to do is launch the 4 gigabyte patch. You're, uh, you're going to double click on it. And it's going to load up. So first thing we're going to do is uh, click on Medieval 2. Hit open. Uh updated patch perfect okay and then hit it again and then this time we're gonna select kingdoms and hit open and then now it is done the game will finally work so if we go back out uh, yeah medieval 2 total war mods back into beginning of the end times and then I'm just gonna launch this up and I'm gonna cut it now and I'm gonna load it back up when the game actually uh, loads up and I'll run through a little battle and kind of show you uh, what the game looks like. Alright guys, so we're back here. So yeah, once you click the the uh, Warhammer process to load up the game, it actually does take about 5 to 10 seconds before anything actually loads up. So don't like click it a thousand times, just be patient. It finally does load up and here we are, Call of Warhammer is working. You can uh, see we're just going to run through a quick custom battle just to show you. And uh, they've got some really cool... Uh, I think they've got uh, some some unique ones here. we got so like Ostermark, Nalm, Sylvania, that kind of stuff. But uh, we're just going to hit Blackfire for now. Hit next. And then here's all the factions that we can choose to be, which is really, really cool. Uh, I'll just be Chaos Undivided, and we can pick one of these human factions to be, I guess, uh, Reichland. There's a lot of cool factions that aren't even in the new one, like uh, these Dark Elves were not in there. Got the Dwarves here, which is pretty cool. But, yep, let's uh, kind of just load it up. The one thing that I did notice is that the units are really expensive for some of them. Like, I played a battle with the Dark Elves, and one of their units was 8,500. Like, look at this. Sorcerers on disc, 8,000. Like, that's insane. But I'll get a couple of these guys. Yeah, some Chaos Warriors. Chosen of Slanish. Can I afford that? <laughs> Not even. Uh, okay, let's just uh, drop out a couple of these guys. Yeah, that's fine. It's it's really just to show you anyway, so... Uh, we'll get some Empire Swords, Empire Spears, a couple of Empire Archers. And we'll get a Great Sword Bodyguard. So let's start up the battle. Yeah, because uh, War the original Warhammer... Uh, is very very expensive alternative for people that already have medieval 2 2 is actually 7299 uh, obviously not coming out till later on but uh, just FYI for you guys who are watching this now uh, the summer steam sale has just started as of today it's June 22nd to July 5th and there are thousands of games that are on sale so uh, if you haven't picked up medieval 2 plus the kingdoms expansion it's actually six dollars for all four of the games uh, it's really, really awesome. And the actual, the new Warhammer, just the original Warhammer that came out last year, uh, it's down from $70 to, I believe, $24. And uh, Rome 2 is also on sale. 
and Attila is on sale as well. Like, there's just thousands of games. So uh, this this is usually the time that I kind of buy games. I just bought uh, Oriental Empires because it uh, was only like 20 bucks or something. But yeah, be sure to check that out. Uh, save You can save a lot of money by just shopping on the Steam sales, that's for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, one of the things that I really, really love about this, and I don't know if the mod creator did this on purpose or not, but he actually remapped the keys so that it's a WASD for the controls instead of the arrow keys, and that is a really nice mechanic. I really appreciate that. Because uh, I, don't, I don't really enjoy... I don't really enjoy the... Uh, having to shift my keyboard over every time I'm playing Medieval 2 to, to just do the the arrow keys but yeah that's pretty good we can kind of zoom in on these guys here so I guess these yeah these are like the marauder type units but then we've got the uh, chaos warriors as well and they actually look really nice really good modeling and yeah you can see that the battles start great I'm just gonna send forward all of my men to attack but we're not gonna be watching all of this battle I just wanted to show you guys that it actually is working the Chaos Hordes have unleashed. So yeah, guys, thanks very much for watching. Uh, to the people who asked for this mod, I apologize that it took me so long to get this going. Uh, this was one of the most difficult mods uh, for me to install. But um, I appreciate you being patient, and hopefully it really helps you guys out. Nice. And there you have it. The first clash of the beginning of the M times on my channel. So thanks very much for watching, guys. If you have any other ideas for what kind of mods uh, you would like to see a how-to video for, be sure to uh, you know like the video or comment down below. Uh, and be sure to subscribe if you find these helpful, because uh, I really appreciate the, the support on my channel for sure. So thanks very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.